Guess who's back? Ha ha ha! Back with another video, Mr. Inconsistent. <laughs> Five different things you can do to spice up your drums, give it more bounce, and make it sound even crazier. Let's get started. So here's what the beat sounds like. Alright, that sounds crazy. So the first thing you can do is play with the placement of the snare. Now everybody's heard drill. You've been living under a rock if you haven't heard drill. But one interesting thing that they do is they play with the snare placement. Usually in the majority of songs, they sound like this. But with like drill, they do something like this. You don't necessarily have to make drill to apply this to make your shit sound even crazier. Now hear what it sounds like when I put the snares back to its regular place. That shit sounds weird and throws off the whole beat. So that would mean I would have to rearrange all the other percussion and the 808 pattern just to fit it. Play with the placement of the snare and the clap. And if you don't think that sounds good, listen to Carousel by Travis Scott or EPMD by Nas. Look, hood theories on a rough sting, rig the world series. It only comes in like every other bar, so it's like. Those beats only have like one snare in it. It doesn't even have that second snare. So it sounds a little off, which brings me to my next one. And that is unexpected surprises and giving people moments. Let me pull up this other beat and show you guys. All right, so that's the first half of the second beat. Now this sample is from Des Wright. He's like known for like using like hella analog keyboards and shit. I mean, his name is Synth Lord on Instagram. So you can't really have that name if you don't have a fucking wall full of synths and shit. With analog samples, it's a little harder to kind of like EQ the bass. In this sample, he got like this like bass transition and like the most important part. I wanted to EQ it, but it just didn't sound good. It sounded like it was just doing a little too much. So instead, I decided to make it like a moment and kind of catch people off guard. Here's the other half of the drums. Basically, all I did was I just EQ'd it and then I automated it so that way it can kind of be its own moment. I pretty much caught them off guard because this whole section, I'm playing the same drums, right? Getting them familiar with it. And then as soon as the switch up happens, they think it's about to be like the 808 transition and then it's gonna hit. But it catches them off guard like this. And it's just like something you can keep people engaged with because, you know, people don't really have the attention span. It got to be like simple, but it also got to have its little moments to catch people's attention. So that's something you could do with your drums. Jeez, I need a water break. Damn. So while this beat is loading up, I just want to take the opportunity to tell you guys, make what you want to make. Don't get wrapped up in trying to like do things like everybody else. This video is just information. And you know, to some people, this might be gems and to other people, this might be fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's just information that comes from experience that I'm showing you guys in real time and passing down to you. Uh, so that way, maybe it can help you out, you know? So just make what you wanna make because that's where your identity comes from. Plus, you don't wanna be a clone, bro. There's already so many people that make pain beats and they got the fucking crazy Q beat samples. Like, we've heard that already. So just make what you wanna make because you might make the next shit. So the next thing, ghost notes. I feel like a lot of people have different uses of ghost notes, but for me, I like playing with like velocities to make things more felt than heard. And with this beat, I feel like this is one of them. I'm most notably known for like hi-hat rolls and shit like that. A lot of people buy my hi-hat midi kits. 
which I'm coming out with one this month. If you look at these drums, I play a lot with the velocities. That's like hella simple. If you notice, there's like a little laser in the background. This right here. As you can see, I play with the velocity a lot. The normal velocity is up here. I brought it down to down here. And I kind of just like mess with it. Cause I feel like with perks, like you gotta be like more natural with it. Cause if not, then, you know, it just kind of sounds super robotic. Like here are the drums. like a super simple one but it's super effective i had mini kit coming soon i had video coming soon you know i like to do that stuff for you guys and the next one is super important i feel like probably the most important have an idea of how you want people to bounce i feel like that really depends on your region there's some people that have like jamaican roots boy wonder he has jamaican roots so a lot of his stuff comes from like reference points of like jamaican music uh uk people you know they have that uk garage style so when they hear like hard trap, they know UK house music. So they try to like mix the two. With West Coast music, it's like they dance a certain type of way to it. I, I keep it very open and very simple so people can like feel the rhythm and dance to that shit. So let me pull out this beat and I feel like it can give you a better perspective. listening to like a whole lot of red i gotta say i love the album shit's fire but that brings us to this point though through my traveling i went to day in vegas and when i went to day in vegas i was listening to like how everybody in different genres was just like moving the crowd when kendrick lamar came out and he brought out baby keem i was like oh my god what the fuck is happening <laughs> A ton of just crazy stuff and I'm just like, damn, the way people are like bouncing with this shit is just, it's what it's meant for. That's what this type of beat is meant for. This type of production is meant for. In this case, I wanted people like to hear this shit and not think so much about the drums and ooh, he did a switch up over here. He added these instruments. Like, no nigga, I want this shit to be cut the raw. Like some underground shit, you know what I mean? I know it's very controversial right now, but I want people to like mosh. I want people to jump up. I want people to get sweaty and forget about their everyday problems. You know what I mean? That's just what goes through my head. So when it's very simple like this and niggas is like, oh, that's so simple. I can do that. And it's like, well, the whole purpose is for it to be so simple that nobody looks silly trying to figure it out. Like anybody can jump up and have fun. That's what we make music for. For people to have fun and buy it so we can take care of our families and shit. That was super crucial. So I hope you guys kind of take that one and put us on to some shit. The final one, use a song for reference because of the song structure. So this West Coast beat, right? The one I just, the other example that I just had, I heard this song with YG and Blast and Mozzie, who was going crazy by the way. And I just like, like the structure. I like the way it was like making me not only think of melodies but like you know i'm thinking like damn like this also some cool ass structure to like go to a cookout and you know what i'm saying your uncle got his fucking open toe shoes out and he going crazy on the grill and shit like it's something very calm i pretty much just like use that song structure as like reference point and then added my twist to it i see no real reason why you shouldn't do that i mean you know niggas are not gonna come for you because they're like oh guys that song structure is too close to mine i need all of it i need all the percent that's that doesn't happen not like that samples yes but the song structure like nobody's coming after you the fuck is this the the song structure monitor police <laughs> this is what the fuck <laughs> that's just something that you can use if you ever feel like you might be doing a little too much and then you know obviously venture out so yeah that's enough talking i don't know if this video is gonna get like a lot of views a little bit of views like but whoever sees this you know um i just hope these gems help you out it's just experience i apologize if i haven't been like making videos and stuff kind of been going through something just internally it's crazy how like you hear in interviews like people say like you can have so much going for you, but still kind of not feel fulfilled or complete. And I just feel like I've been in that type of place lately. Um, people, what the fuck am I talking about? You guys don't care about that. You guys care about like production videos and shit. Either way though, fuck with y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'm gonna chop this video as low as I can because I know people's attention is short. It's enough for today's video. 
I'm back with more videos. I got other videos lined up for you guys. 2022 is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be really crazy. I'm looking forward to it. With that being said though, I will catch you guys next time.